Licensing materials for educators. If you're an educator, you probably have some great things to share. But you probably also have heard about the dangers of sharing your work in the internet. What does a teacher need to do to ensure that your work reaches your audience always for free? Let's start talking a little about copyleft, copyright, creative commons, and public domain. What is copyright? Well, copyright is the right an author intrinsically has to his own intellectual property. Contrary to what some may think, it is not necessary to add a copyright symbol in order to protect your work. Whatever you create, be it a song, an artwork, a lesson plan, a blog, a piece of software, is automatically covered by copyright protection. Copyright makes it very hard for people to get away with using content. It is illegal to share or even download a file that is under copyright protection. In fact, if every work was copyrighted, then we could not have the possibility of open education. In came copyleft, and things started to change. When a product is copylefted, that means intellectual property can be modified, copied, repackaged, and even sold as a copyrighted product, as long as the original author is credited. That means your product would not be free anymore. This is one of the reasons why educators are more and more leaning towards the Creative Commons licenses. The Creative Commons provides us with six different licenses that give an author a legal method to give some of the rights to the public while still keeping some rights. The author can customize these licenses by selecting exactly the ones they need. The most open licenses fall under the public domain sphere, which was officially instituted in 2011. Under these licenses, someone can share your material, modify it, and even profit from it, but they have to give you credit for it. The second step allows for sharing and sometimes remixing, but puts restrictions on profit. If you want to ensure you as a teacher share your lesson plans and your ideas for free, this is a license you should use. Lastly, you can have a share-only license which forbids the user to modify the work at all, but may or may not allow for profit to be made by others. The Creative Commons website will help you decide what the right license is for you. Most educators choose Creative Commons licenses that allow for sharing with credit and remixing, but not profiting. This ensures that everyone will always have access to your creations for free. These principles allow for easy sharing of educational material, which is the foundation of open education.